Morning everyone, it's me, Walmart Ian Hubert, and we're making 3D signs today. I'm sure you all know what they are. Well, I'm really sure you all know what they are. I mean, if you just go outside, they're basically everywhere. So listen up and I'll show you how to turn your Blender viewport into a Word document. Start by pressing Shift A on your keyboard and scroll down until you see text. Then click on it. And there you go, we're done. Okay, hope you all have a great day. <laughs> not quite. Start by tabbing into edit mode and typing out whatever you want your sign to say. Once you're happy with it, go back into object mode and go to the text controls on the bottom right of your screen. <laughs> oh, and this is where the real magic happens. I usually start by turning the fill to none and then turning up the depth. It really gives the text a cool 3D feel. And of course, all the other fill options look pretty cool as well. And the extrude tool is useful for making your text look a little bit more thick. Oh, and uh, resolution just changes the detail of the text. Just messing around with these tools can give you some pretty cool results. And of course, Blender has like 200 different fonts that you can choose from, so just kind of experiment a bit and pick whatever you think looks the coolest. I found you can create a really cool design if you duplicate the text, slide it back just a little bit, and turn the depth of the back text way up and the depth of the front text way down. Then just kind of give them different colors, mash them together, and it looks like a neon sign. The key to creating cool looking signs is to just mess around with all the settings as much as you can. Duplicate the text, put it in different positions, color it differently, change the font up, etc, etc. 99% of the time, if you just mess around, you really can't go wrong. Like for this shop sign I was working on, I didn't do any research, I didn't look up any reference images, all I was doing was messing around with the settings, and I got a pretty cool result. Even for this sign, I didn't do anything fancy, I just duplicated the text a couple times, mashed them on top of each other, and changed up the colors a little bit, and honestly, it looked pretty good. Sometimes simple can look cool as well. For this mall sign, all I did was create a simple text, give it a bit of an extrusion, a little bit of depth, and just gave it a quick coloring. Also, one thing to note is to color the text and use it outside of Blender, you have to right click and hit convert to mesh. But as I said before, if you want your text to look good, just mess around with it as much as possible. Hopefully you all got some ideas from the designs that I made in this video. Also, I almost forgot to mention something that Ian Hubert mentioned in his sign tutorial. You can actually download custom fonts online that output letters and numbers as symbols, so you can create some really cool stuff and blender with them. Alright, with all that out of the way, I hope you all learned something, and goodbye.